Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty mini Trumpless of Marnie, Iowa. And look what we got around here today. This is a Royal Enfield Classic 350 signal model in marsh gray, I think they call this. This is a customer's bike, number 521. Each bike has its own unique number. Kind of a neat thing, lots of add-ons to it. Real quick, what is it? It's a 349cc single overhead cam, single cylinder engine, air-cooled. It's got two valves. This one has a cat delete pipe that's been added, plus a stock muffler bunch of other little things. It's got this beautiful little uh, five-speed transmission. The engine and transmission on this thing work excellent together. This one's had a heel shifter added to it. The brakes on these things are a 300 millimeter disc on the front with a dual piston vibri. Check that out. ABS, of course. The rear is a 270, I believe. Let me look here. Yep, 270 millimeter with a single piston vibri. Oh, and just real quick, everything's metal. The fenders, the side covers, you know, every little bit. Even this nacelle is made out of a cast aluminum. They've got 41 millimeter forks, which are covered here. 5.1 inches of travel, that's about 130 millimeters. Tire size is 190.19 on the front. Jumping back to the rear, it's a dual shock rear end with about three and a half inches of travel. I think that's 89 millimeters. Again, spoke wheels. The back tire is a 120.80.18. So 19 on the front, 18 on the back. Seat height on this hot rod, at least with the stock seat, this is not a stock seat is uh, 31.7 inches. That's about 805 millimeters. That sounds like a lot, but it's a very narrow motorcycle. I own several motorcycles and I would call this my shortest motorcycle, even though it's not. It's actually two inches taller than my shortest motorcycle. And the reason that is very low center of gravity. And again, that very narrow body through here. Wheelbase on something like this is 54.7 inches. That's about 1,389 millimeters. Fuel tank, 3.4 gallons and gets about 80 miles a gallon. So that's pretty darn good, 13 liters. Wet weight, 430 pounds, or about 195 kilograms. Pretty darn good, huh? Well, this one has had some add-ons added to it, and I think we'll just kind of start at the front with that. Check out these levers, adjustable for throw. It's gonna get engine guard, we just haven't got them in yet. It's got a sump guard on the bottom. Nice metal one by RE. Rolling back this way, it's got these bags on. Now they're kind of short on these bags. I don't think we can get those anymore, but I think Baxter's has a whole mess of them. Go to BaxterCycle.com, you can probably still pick some up. Uh, this bike has the touring seat on it. Again, I have this seat on my bike. It has a parcel rack on the back. And of course, I already pointed out, the heel shifter. Nice, huh? By the way, it comes stock with a center stand. All right, my friends, I'm gonna gear up and we're gonna go for a ride. Wahoo! Hey, it sounds louder. Oh, they put a cat delete pipe on this one. I forgot that. There's a cat delete pipe. They got rid of the cat pre-cats in this thing. Ah, it does make a difference. You know what? We'll take this on a little bit of highway to see what kind of a improvement it gives us. Alrighty, exhaust pipe alley. <laughs> I love doing that. Has good sound, doesn't it? Do our little spin here. 57 point, 54.7 inch wheelbase, I think. 1389 millimeters. Look at that, huh? Like a dream, like a dream. Wahoo! Has a really good sound. I'm kind of sold on that pipe just from the sound, by golly. I do have one of these of my own, and I am riding it today. I love riding it. <laughs> Don't be afraid to shift. This one has the uh, heel shifter on there, so I'm taking advantage of that also. I kind of like that. I've talked about getting that on mine also. Okay, let's do our figure eight test here. Look at this, huh? Turns like a dream, turns like a dream. The 350s do this best. Well, they're the lightest, they got the shortest wheelbase. They're the most maneuverable. Look at that, huh? I like it, I like it a lot. It really has a growl for a sound. Very good sounding. <laughs> me gusta, me gusta mucho. That is called Bigfoot Hill. And the reason that is, you probably can't see him from here. There are three Bigfoot right up there. <laughs> Let's make some noise. Welcome to South Marnie. Wahoo! I think this thing has a little more bite. I like that. I like that a lot. Very good. Look at how this spins around. No trouble at all in these little hot rods. <laughs> Dirt and gravel everywhere. 300 millimeter disc brake on the front with a dual piston vibri. 
270 on the rear, I believe. Single piston Bybury. No. Making some noise. I think that pipe does help. The engine transmission combo on this hot rod is awesome. They just work oh, beautifully, beautifully. And that heel shifter, what a dream, what a dream. Can y'all hear that extra growl? You know, there is no need to have a heel shifter on one of these, but it sure is a lot of fun. It adds a whole new dimension to riding. Hey, let's do the old hill spin test right here. Look at that, huh? Turns like a dream, turns like a dream. These do it best, I believe. When you make your way over here to the Mighty Mini Tropical Samar, and you make sure you stop here at the derailed grill right there. Try one of their uh, <laughs> Wahoo Burgers, by golly. <laughs> so seating position, this has got the uh, touring seat on it. Pretty darn comfortable. I have the same seat on my bike. I like it a lot. You sit upright, leaning forward slightly. Your uh, hips and your knees are at the same level. Your heels are probably right about even with your, yeah, I'd say they're about even with your knees. This has what they call a mid control in the Royal Enfield world. The Meteor has the forward controls and the Hunter has the rear controls. Very comfortable. The bars, you do reach slightly to them, but not too much. You know, the Meteor, the bars reach up to you. And on the Hunter, you have to definitely lean down to reach to those bars. I love the way the pipe growls on this thing. That uh, cat delete really does help a lot. Gravel everywhere here. Hey, there's Motorcycle Park. It will spin the tire. So how does this thing handle? How does this thing handle? Well, you know, like in a parking lot or out of your garage, easy. Out of your, it's a, you know, it just pushes easy. Something like this, I mean, look at this. Absolutely no trouble at all. You know, I bet we can do a double loop here. Let's do that, check that out, huh? Very maneuverable, very controllable. Plenty of clutch, good feel. I love these levers, by the way. Buzzing around town like this, it's the perfect bike for that. Little, Little gravel roads and stuff like that, no trouble at all. I love this bike on the uh, two-lane blacktop. I think with that uh, extra pipe, that cat pipe, you might get a little bit of top end boost. It's louder, but it's not obnoxiously loud. I rode a Super Meteor a while back with the uh, AEW Bazooka pipe, and boy, that added a lot to the top end. An awful lot to it, it really did. Uh, but I didn't like how loud it was. Now this is louder, but it's not quite as loud as that Bazooka pipe. So it does work pretty darn well, I'd say. Suspension on these things is perfect. You know, it's just, it's just a fun motorcycle. It's just an absolutely fun motorcycle. Hey, on April 27th, we are going to have a nifty 350 ride. All bikes are welcome, of course. Yeah, let's go this way this time. We're gonna head out of Baxter Cycle here around 10 o'clock in the morning, depending on the weather and how things go. The ride will be about 110 miles long. We're gonna go to an ice cream shop and then probably stop somewhere to eat, get some eats, and then end again at uh, here in Marnie. Boy, it really howls. It just howls. And I'm really enjoying that heel shifter. Good. You know what? I think we better head back. We're starting to have way too much fun. More fun than anybody ought to have, right? This is Main Street Marnie right here. I think they should call this Vintage Bike Drive or Classic Road or something like that. If you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield like this one, customized or not, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, doodads, thingamajigs, doohickeys, by golly, anything at all, get yourself down here to Baxter's and Marnie or go to BaxterCycle.com. Those guys can help you out. Make sure you tell them that Fuzzy Biker sent you. Life is good, my friends. Life is good. Get yourselves out there and ride. Wahoo!